Well, here we are at Melbourne Exhibition Centre, which is directly opposite Crown Casino. I'll let you be the judge after this of which is the more interesting place to go. Here's an interesting deal that I uh, saw going into the expo. Um, iStore are going to be doing a giveaway to the first 1,000 inverter and battery combos that are purchased from when they launch uh, in December 2023 or Jan 2024, I'm not too sure. Um, but of the first thousand, uh, one will be picked and the retailer and the end customer will each get a BYD Dolphin EV. Well, one in a thousand, that sounds like pretty decent odds to me. Well, I have my ID now, so in I go. That's a lot of exhibitors. That is a lot, a lot. Goodness me. This video is going to go on forever. Mile stand, and this is an interesting. We've got a fish tank here with a micro inverter inside underwater, proving how uh, IP67 rated they are. And over on the back wall here, they have different power ratings from uh, 300 watt up to 2 kilowatt uh, of micro inverters. So, a challenge to end phase, perhaps. Uh, this is one, a new one to me, Franklin. So Franklin is an American company. Uh, it's an AC coupled battery system, so similar to a Tesla Powerwall in functionality. Uh, down here we have the battery, which is 13.6 kilowatt hours, uh, with a charge and discharge rate of five kilowatts. Uh, and the, uh, the A-gate energy management system at the top here um, can uh, doesn't connect to the solar inverter but has CTs to read surplus solar output uh, and the backup circuitry. It also can connect a generator uh, and it has separate backup circuits, so essential loads and if you wish you can uh, connect your AC on one circuit and your EV charger on another. Alright, so we're now looking at the HP6 which is an AC coupled battery like uh, like Tesla Powerwall effectively. Um, it, you can see that it's in three sections. So this section on the far right, that is 6.1 kilowatt hours of storage with the inverter inside as well. It's a 3.6 kilowatt single phase inverter. And then in the middle here, you have the first expansion unit of another 6.1 kilowatt hours of battery. And then another on the left here, 6.1 kilowatt hours of battery. So you're looking at 18.3 kilowatt hours of storage with a power capability of 3.6 kilowatts. Nice looking battery. One of the different things about this year's show, the 2023 show, is how few solar panel stands there are. It used to be absolutely everywhere, but now it's inverters and batteries from a few brands I've never even heard of, and very few panels. But I did see the REC stand as I walked past, so I'm just going to go and have a look at that. Hello. Here is uh, an interesting uh, juxtaposition. We have Ryzen, one of the cheapest uh, solar panels on the market. Uh, nothing wrong with them, perfectly, perfectly okay. And REC, one of the more expensive brands on the market. Uh, REC, now owned by an Indian organization, and they make some the Alpha Pure R and the Alpha Pure RX, which is on the way. Uh, very nice heterojunction celled panels, all black, very stylish looking. Here's one, let's go and have a look at the front of this one. It's a bit of a monster. What is this? This is uh, the Alpha Pure RX, so this is the new model RX 
480. 480 watts. Well, 470. They said on the label, but it's on the front, but it's 480 on the back. And uh, yeah, very nice looking panel that will be when it lands. So coming uh, Q2 2024, this is the new SMA hybrid inverter from 3 to 10 kilowatt size. Um, we'll work with a variety of low voltage batteries including, I'm informed, SMA's own low voltage battery. So I'm heading down here towards the Grow Watt and So Far stands. Um, so far inverters are not a brand that we've dealt with much. We see them being sold by the likes of, yeah, you know who, on the TV with cricketers. And to be honest, that kind of puts me off. But let's see what they've got. All right, so uh, residential 8 to 10 kilowatt three phase inverter. Um, not a hybrid. Big one, very big one. Ah, on the wall here, a three phase hybrid. Uh, I can see there's a so far battery underneath it, goes up to 20 kilowatt hours according to the label. Probably can have multiple stacks of that. Uh, modules are five kilowatt hours, so that's clearly a 10 kilowatt hour battery you can see there. Wow, 20 kilowatt hours, that's gonna be pretty high. Two, that plus a couple of batteries. Okay, anyway, so there's the three-phase hybrid, 5 kilowatt to 20 kilowatt in various sizes. I uh, can see that it's got backup, smart meter, all the usual. Um, over here, we have the SOFA Power All, single-phase 5 kilowatt inverter, up to 15 kilowatt hours of storage in the stack, smart meter, backup all built in. Nice looking unit. All right, I'm on the Soul Planet sand now. So Soul Planet, if you're not familiar with the name. Um, this is a three phase hybrid from five to 12 kilowatts and underneath their high voltage battery, 7.5 to 20 kilowatt hour storage. And over here is their single phase hybrid uh, three to six kilowatts, so uh, five kilowatts would obviously be the best seller, and a five to ten kilowatt hour low voltage battery, which I'm assuming can be paralleled to have more than that because that's not very much storage from one battery. But you know, nice looking units indeed. So I'm now at the one stop warehouse stand. Um, one Stop Warehouse are a national wholesaler. We deal with them a fair bit, so they carry quite a range of different products. Saj, Saj, however you pronounce it, this is a brand we have uh, not had much to do with. with. This is a um, uh, 10 kilowatt single phase. I'm not too sure what I'm looking at. I better go find out. Um, but I know this one, seen this one, installed this one many times. So this is the SunGrow single phase five kilowatt hybrid. Uh, it's now available in an eight and a 10 kilowatt, hour, kilowatt uh, version if you're on the East Coast. There's the SunGrow battery. Look how small this is. I'm gonna show you later on some other batteries. And there, this is one, two, three, four. This is 11, so th uh, 3.2 times four, 12 kilowatt hour battery. Look how small it is. <laughs> Great. Um, then they've got Goodwee on their stands, sorry, GE and Goodwee there, uh, and the Goodwee battery. This is the new Goodwee battery. This is an interesting product, the MS. The, uh, it's a three phase, sorry, single phase, three MPPT battery, so three trackers. And over here they have the ET series where they've said on the label it goes five to ten kilowatt but I am assured in fact I know they have recently released a 15 and a 20 kilowatt version of that inverter now if I move this little 
card aside for a moment. There is the battery, the Goodweed Lynx Home F, 6.6 .6 to 16.4 kilowatt hour battery in a stack, and you can have multiple multiple stacks. I think they told me it had eight, up to eight stacks. I introduced the SunGrow battery. I mentioned that how small it was. Look at this monster. Solar Edge's 10 kilowatt hour battery. Absolute monolith. All one piece and huge. Can't understand it. When you look at how dainty their, their inverters are and there's that little single phase EV charger and this monster, monster battery. Goodness me. I think the guys will be very unhappy, very happy installing those. Uh, over here, some solace inverters. Out to the Solar Edge booth, and uh, anyone who knows <coughs> me will know that I am not a massive fan of Solar Edge. Nothing particularly against them, just not a brand that we have had much to do with. Uh, I'm going to head for the main event that everyone seems to be interested in. Oh, a whole bunch of people standing in front of it. But they have an upcoming DC charger, which is behind this gentleman with a similar head to mine and a backpack. The DC charger, uh, which also supports uh, EV to home features through the Solar Edge home hub inverter. Uh, works pretty much in the, whatever available surplus PV power you have on your roof you can direct through the inverter into the charger and into the car and if it's approved you will be able to draw power from the car through the inverter converting it into AC and uh, use uh, in the house. So if you have a five kilowatt home home inverter, you'll have five kilowatts of power coming out of your battery in the car. Very nice. So here we are at the ice tour booth. I was here last night at 4.30 for the ice tour launch and I couldn't even get anywhere near the food and drinks they were having at the front there because it was 10 deep all the way around. Now iStore have been around for 11 years or so forth and they're best known, or they are only known at the moment, for the hot water heat pumps here. I have one at my house and uses about one kilowatt hour of my solar a day to uh, heat up uh, all my hot water I need for the house. I don't have this big model, I have a slightly smaller tank, but that's what iStore are best known for. But iStore basically by December or January 2024 will have their own battery and inverter range and if this gentleman could move out of the way here is the battery and inverter so there's a single phase of five kilowatt six kilowatt and a battery that is um, three by five kilowatt hour batteries in the stack and then there is a 7 to 22 kilowatt hour EV charger and coming later in 2024, mid 2024, is a range of three phase hybrids which as they say on the label, two MPPTs but 40 amps per MPPT so you can parallel two strings on both of the MPPTs giving you four strings and that's 8 through to 25 kilowatt hour hybrid inverter working initially with this battery and then in 2025 there will be an even bigger battery. Now I'm just going to step back and explain who the heck iStore are because if these products look very familiar to you that's because they should be there. The very successful Huawei brand that is now going to be branded iStore from henceforth. Uh, iStore, like I say, are about a 10, 12 year old company, uh, Australian company, and they are going to be essentially um, uh, carrying their own brand in Australia now. And this is a very exciting story. They've got some heavyweights in the solar industry working for them. I can see Carl Jensen over there. Last night I saw Jack Longy Long. There's quite a few people who are involved in this operation who are impressive to say the least. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure how much I can say about futures, but to start with it will be the uh, product range that we know from Huawei and then in 2024 other new stuff will start creeping in.